Tonight, black is orders. You can read, can't you? you? Turn us down flat. They think we're bluffing. They'll soon find out. You can deliver? Yes. I'm ready. You suddenly look pale. Cold, that's all. Got a cold coming. Tonight? You'll be paying us off then? Later. Blackie drop by with the cash, you'll drop by afterwards. You'll be paid. Right. I'll be closing the alley on time tonight. Not a place to be hanging around. was here. What do you think he heard? It's not a night for taking chances, is it? I'll attend to him. You split now. I'll see you later. Yes, hello. Kelly? Speaking. Fraser. Listen, I'm onto something. Something big. I saw your report. No, no, not the drugs business, something else. I ran across it purely by chance. Well, don't talk on riddles, man. What is it? I can't talk now. I'll meet you in the usual place. Fifteen minutes. Fraser. Fraser!
I had a drink with him just two nights ago. He had a premonition, you know. Oh, yeah? What about? Oh, what do you think? He's gonna die. Well, that's the safest prediction I've heard in a long time. I hope he didn't take any bets on it. You know what I mean. Uh, I'd like his belongings, personal effects, everything. Yeah, I know what you mean. Did he say anything? No. What was he working on? Drug ring, undercover. So where was Benny? He was working on his own. What, on a drugs case? He was on to something else. That's why he phoned me. Something big, he said. What else did he say? Kelly? Speaking? Fraser. Listen, I'm on to something. Something big. I saw your report. No, not the drugs business, something else. I ran across it purely by chance. Well, don't talk in riddles, man. What is it? I can't talk now. I'll meet you in the usual place. Fifteen minutes. Fraser! Is that it? That's it. The noise, what was it? Here. Scorecard. To a bowling alley. Fraser, calling from a bowling alley? And we know which one. I'll get over there, the pair of you, and stake it out. What do we look for? Well, don't ask me, Bodhi. That's your job, what you're paid for. Sniff hard, be alert, anything unusual. Yes, sir, we understand, sir. I should hope you do. Stake out. Running all the way, sir. Okay, where do we start? Start? Hmm, start what? I don't know. How many stakeouts have you been on, Bodhi? Uh, not many. Yeah, you're lucky. And they were just looking at houses. Yeah, well, you just look, listen and observe. Well, do nothing, you mean? Well, what do you want us to do? Announce we're on a stakeout? Maybe we should just yell out. Anybody want to confess? a meeting place. Yeah, it could be. Yes, but who's meeting who and why? Now the guy with the peanuts over there. What about him? Oh, come on, Bodie. Wait. I've got my money on them. Oh, come on, we stand around, we stand around forever, don't we? Yeah, sometimes it takes forever. I mean, can you see anyone acting suspicious? Yeah. Us. Come on, let's play. Money? You played much. You? I asked first. OK, loser buys drinks. You haven't played. How do you know? Because if you had, you'd have wanted larger stakes. Can't be very good for the figure. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, listen, you get the gear, I'll have a look around, all right? Yeah, what size? Nine. Do you want size twos? Uh, no, eight and nine, please.
Oh, must have thought we were beginners. They're giving us ones with holes in. Oh. Hey, which one do you want? Uh, that one. Yeah, you have played before, haven't you? Got the time? Yeah, if you've got the inclination. You got a watch? It's wrong sometimes. Not tonight, it's not. Do you want a game? No, I'm busy. Bit edgy, wasn't she? Maybe she just doesn't fancy you. Hello? It's Frank. Where are you? Back in Bedford. It's, um, ready. Have you dealt with Jack? No, he hasn't turned up yet. But Black is here. It's definitely tonight. You fix that guy? Don't worry. We're in the clear. There must be. We'd have heard something by now. Well, what happened? I dealt with it, OK? I'll tell you all about it when you get here. Well, I'm leaving now. Good. See you later. Size? Nine. Forty people. Cute. How do you score? Oh, I just get lucky, I guess. Oh, yeah. How should I know? Just add up the one you knocked down. How many do we play for? Three or one. Let's dance. So? Hmm. You look terrible. I don't feel too good. It's all there. Thanks. Get yourself some aspirin and go to bed. You've earned it. I'll do that. What's up with you? Stakeouts are a waste of time. Yeah, well, nine out of ten of them are. So look on the bright side. What's that? I'm winning. got a fever, but he's ice cold. Hey, can I help? Uh, we can manage, thanks. Better leave it to me. I've got medical experience. Yeah, well, we're students. That guy's yes, hospital. All, all the same. Look, we can uh, manage. Thanks very much, OK? And give us some room there, will you, please? Hey, not everybody was interested.
What happened there? The guy fell over. Passed out. He was, uh, sick. Well? Pulse rate's way down. Breathing's far too shallow. She's in a very bad way. Well, what is it, Doctor? There's no burning around the lips, and yet it looks like some kind of poisoning. Poison? Self-administered? Well, I'm not clairvoyant. I'd have to run tests, and that would take time. And he hasn't got much time. He's dying. Bad time to go. With 5,000 in your pocket. Bye, Larry. Swallows. Swallows? Get back to that bowling alley and take back up with you. Benny, okay? Benny, anyone, just get back there. Swallows. What do you mean, man? Tell you what, Benny, stay here. And if you're very good, we'll send a lemonade out. Yeah. How was he? Oh, fine. Yeah, it was just a touch of flu, I think. You want to play? Not particularly. Why not? You're not losing by much. Hmm. Hiya. Didn't he turn up? Who? Whoever it is you're waiting for. That clock's still right. I think I should go to work, though. That's not what we're here for. Could be exactly what we're here for. Yeah, all right. Go on. Shut her up. That's a very coarse way of putting it. Oh, do you mean there's another way? Yes, I prefer interrogation, investigation, <laughs> on account of the fact that I'm very conscientious about my work. Cheerio. Cheerio. You're one of the guys that took that man to hospital, aren't you? That's right. What happened? Well, you know. Never seen him before. When a customer passes out on the premises, you know what I mean, we don't want him suing the company. Oh, he won't be suing anybody. Why? Well, not unless you infect your customers with flu, he won't. Oh, the flu. Yeah. That's okay, then. Play a lot, do you? Not really. What do you do? I'm a dental receptionist. Oh. You don't like dentists, right? I wouldn't know. I haven't seen one in years. I get as far as the crown, though, you know? Pub on the corner, have a few drinks, Dutch courage. Pain goes away? Yeah, phone up from there, cancel the appointment. <laughs> How often does that happen? Oh, about twice a week. You need help, don't you? Don't you? Can we go somewhere where we can talk? Go outside. Yeah. Okay, why not? Say, how about giving me a workout? Yeah, sure, yeah. Oh, no, bones. Oh, a waste of time, I'm afraid. I'm strictly a beginner. Well, a friendly game. You never know, you might learn something. Well, am I supposed to take that personally, mister? Come again? When I threw out a challenge a while ago, you weren't interested. A while ago? It didn't suit me. Satisfied? Oh, I get the point. 
and I don't like it. Listen, uh, don't mind me. You two just go ahead and play. Huh? Oh, no. He asked you, mister. All right, we'll make up a threesome. Any objections? <laughs> Why not? You happy now? Well, you want I should smile a lot. Look, mate, with a shoulder like you've got, you shouldn't play bowls anyway. There's nothing wrong with my shoulder. Elizabeth, what's on it? Come on, let's bowl. By the way, how was that guy? A oh, hospital case? Yeah. I never stopped to find out. You... <laughs> Strange. You being a medical student. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, to tell you the truth, my heart's not in my work. I'm just the victim of a family Are you two going to play or just talk? Play, play, play. We'll play. You bowl every Thursday, do you? Uh -huh. Is that what you wanted? About thirty pounds. Twenty-five. Hope you're a good dental receptionist, because you make a lousy hooker. Look, I need the money. Oh, yeah? Why do you need that? I just need it, that's all. Right. What's the name of your pusher? I'm not waiting for my pusher. I'm waiting for my friend. Oh, OK. Well, what's your friend's name, then? Johnny, but he's not a dealer. Oh, everyone's called Johnny. Johnny is not... What's his name? Johnny is not a dealer. What's his name? Fraser, but he's not a dealer. Fraser? You waiting for John Fraser? Are you? No. Where is he? Yes, Where I is know he? him. I should say I used to know him. Right, Fraser was bringing you a fix, right? So there's, when? There's nothing. When? This morning, but he didn't show. Yeah, so what happened? Well, he called me, knew I needed it, but he put it off. Why? Eh? Why do you put it off? No, no. Come on, he wants to say No. Come on, he wants to say something, now think! No. He was going on about swallows. Yes? Swallows? Swallows? So what does that mean? I don't know. Look, let's make it ten pounds, and you can come back to my place. Oh, no. You are coming back to my place. Take her in, Benny. Tell the cow she was waiting for Fraser. Wouldn't waste time on him, darling. Doesn't know what 20 quid looks like. Bad luck. How about that, then? Your foot was over the line. <laughs> it was nowhere near it. was a it. foul throw. I don't know. It was a good one. Oh, he's right. You keep out of it. I was watching. Real close. Yeah, well, I was bowling. Then bowl again. Oh, you really want to push your luck, don't you? Ooh. Terribly sorry. He's terribly sorry. He drinks a lot, you know. <laughs> I'll try and sober him up. Carry on with the game. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, God, would I would have killed him. You'd have killed him. <laughs> He's not well. I'm going to strike. Is he all right in a minute? Thank you. All ten pins. Yeah, you got a ten pin strike. Yeah, and you blow your cover, don't you? Hey, little David like you smashing a Goliath into a jigsaw puzzle. How that look? Very good just now. Yeah, well, on stakeouts, Raymond, you are a seven-stone weakling and you let people kick sand in your face. Yeah. I'm a seven-stone weakling. Two cokes, please, love. Right. Ask me about the girl. I never encouraged boasting. Yes, yeah, sir. She was waiting for Fraser. Was well, she? How much? Thirty. She said swallows. 
swallows. Swallows. What does it mean? I don't know. Just swallows. Birds. <laughs> swallows aren't birds, are they? Fraser chasing birds. Yeah. Could it be? Yeah, that blonde girl, whoever she is, she's involved in the drugs case. Fraser was on about something else. What else? I just had to meet him there, that's all. But he didn't talk then. Yeah. He said something about Bedford. Bedford? Well, that's enough for me. Hey, we haven't finished our game yet. Oh, you've got me beat. I can see. But one thing, just remember, you can lose a battle, but win the war. Mr. Black Man. Why couldn't Fraser have been more specific? He didn't intend walking under the point of a knife, that's why. Well, they'll be closing soon. Yeah, 11.30. Nothing. It's a waste of time. Nothing. Why don't we just, um, run everybody in? <laughs> we give Cowley a late-night question in the mall. Yeah, that's right. We could go home. you would be full of praise, too. Praise? Well, I wouldn't want to take the credit for an idea as good as that, would I? Yeah, you'd admit it was me. Mm, yeah, but grudgingly. It was just the right touch of admiration. No, you are, don't you? Mm. I know what you think I am. Frank should be here any time. Call me as soon as he arrives. Are you going straight to Bedford? Yes. Call me there. Take a look over there. Already have. Not the birds, the fella. Just the fella we're looking for. Yeah, you do take family snapshots, don't you? I can explain. Any sudden noise or movement could result in a broken arm. Two broken arms. Hmm. Find someone smaller, have you? Oh, not now. I haven't got time. No time for the likes of me, is that it? Well, that's all we need. Show me card, Ray. Yeah, well, in a minute. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
What's he trying to do? Oh, he's making a jigsaw puzzle. You're busted. Get an idea on this one, will you, Benny? What for? Impeding the course of justice, see you. This one likes to take pictures. Uh, Carly might like to see what develops. It's not a coach, you know. to the piece. Can I have my camera back, please? Come on, David Bailey. What about the black man? Taylor. Martin Taylor. Truck driver. No record. He's been in an ugly mood because his girlfriend walked out on him. Oh, yeah. Kerrigan. Sir? Here, right here. Look, that's Ray Kerrigan, special branch. What's he doing at that bowling alley? Get me Hunter. No, wait. I'll go over there and see him myself. Now, George, how would you know about Kerrigan? Here. Did you take these? I didn't know you went in for this kind of thing, George. But you've got taste. We're crossing wires, Hunter. Special Branch and CI-5, we're crossing wires. I've already got two men staking out that alley. Why? Because I lost a man tonight. Fraser. Fraser? He was good. And he left me a lead to the bowling alley. But that's all he left me. I'm sorry about Fraser, George. But Kerrigan's been tailing Blackie for weeks. Blackie? Thomas Black, Blackie, the fat man. He, he heads this nihilistic white African group. They're all talk and no teeth. But just the same, we have to watch them. Does that help? What do they want? The usual stuff. Remove all sanctions, recognize white Africa, or else? Or else what? Or else nothing. Just vague threats, George. Hell, there's not enough of them to do any real harm. Hunter. Can I speak to Mr. Carly, please? Yes. It's for you. Oh, thanks. Hello, yeah? We just got an ID on the man in hospital. His name is Jack Thorwood, a laboratory engineer at Pearlbright. Pearlbright, sir? The nuclear waste recycling plant. I know what happens at Pearlbright. Thank you. Do you mind? Oh. What's this about Pearlbright? Nothing, I hope. Uh, Dr. Binney, please. Uh, George Cowley. They're a very small group, you say. Do they have funds? Blackie's pretty rich, but... The uh, Dr. Binney, have you made that diagnosis yet? We're in the middle of it now. Of course, these things take time. We have to make comparisons, eliminations. If I gave you a lead, would you make an educated guess? Well, what is it? Could you be suffering from plutonium poisoning? I see. Thank you, Doctor. A small group, Hunter. How would a small group wield real power? What would he need? Oh, no. I think, oh, yes. Where's Blackie now? Kerrigan's tailed him back to Bedford. Bedford? Why the devil didn't you say that before? Because you didn't ask me. We'll need a chopper and a nuclear bomb squad. Bomb. We are closing now. Thank you. Come on, boys and girls. Bedtime. Come on, boys and girls. You're late. Nothing wrong, is there? No, no, I was late. That's all. Traffic. Well, don't let that happen on your way out. Don't worry. I'll be long gone. I reckon I'll be away from the fallout area in ten minutes. It's all set up. You just press that button there to activate it. Then how long have I got? Twenty-five minutes. When this baby goes, it'll take everything within a radius of five miles with it. 
that if anything should go wrong, I go with it. That's it then? That's it then. Excuse me. Yes? Do you belong to the Swallows Bowling Club? Yes. I'll give you a lift. It's all right, I've That's got my right. no. Go. Would you mind just telling me who you are? What the hell are you playing at? Where are we going? Back to our place. Good night. Frank's been and gone. I'm set. Good. You push it at midnight and then get out of there. Kerrigan. Are you still in there? Yeah, he just took a phone call. What is this? Carly, Major Tilver, Ray Kerrigan. Major? Nuclear bomb squad. Yes, Major, we'll rush the place, but be right behind us. And if he goes anywhere near a button or a lever, kill him, right? Sir, what's going on here? An atom bomb. Sit down. Where's Carly? He's out. Chasing atom bombs. That's the house. Come on. All right. Where is it? Where's it hidden? You find it. We will. We will. It isn't here. Black Friday. <laughs> that is ironic. White Africa Black Friday. It could have been a clean white Friday if your government had taken us seriously. If they had, then London wouldn't be a wasteland today. London? Friday's tomorrow. The hell it is. Friday is 15 minutes away. It's 11.45. It's hopeless. I must have more men. It's in London, Major. But where in London? Your team's the only one equipped to deal with an A-bomb, Major. Well, there's another in Scotland, but... Let's go, then. Back to London. We might just make it before Friday. You'd better come, too. Now, what have we got? A bomb. An A-bomb. An atom bomb. Yeah, but where? Where's... Well, it's got to be linked to the bowling alley. Mm, that's true. That's where it started. That's where we found him. He arrived late, carrying a hold all. Yeah, didn't play. Didn't play, but he left a few minutes later without the hold all. Which is about bomb, bomb size. size. Right. Thanks. Now, Carly here. Treat it as a red alert. All priority personnel, governmental, the monarchy, to proceed to fallout shelters. What about the little people? Like you and me, Hunter? 
this bowling alley. It must be. We don't know that. It's the only other place we do know about. Pilot! Pilot! Put this chopper down as near as possible. Cowley here. Have the car standing by. Don't move anything at all. Frank! Did you prime it? Did you hit the button? Did you? Crazy, there are other bombs. What we Tell him, Major. About 100,000 people in this country have the knowledge and with plutonium the means to make an A-bomb. But it has to be crude, unstable. Worse than handling nitro in 130 degrees. Put the wrong hands on a bomb like that and it's as good as a detonator. What time is it? Five minutes past. It's primed. Eh? At midnight it was primed! We've got to turn back! Midnight? So it's a time fuse? Yes, yes. Twenty-five minutes. Now turn this thing around! Twenty-five no. minutes? Five of them gone already. When are you going to put this damn thing down? About five or six minutes. Five or six minutes? We won't make it. Don't you see? We've got to turn back! Well, it is activated. It's all going well, Frank. Well, we're not even supposed to be here. Look, we've got 20 minutes if we go now. Well, for God's sake, it's your lives too. Then fix it. Take these off. Now calm down and start thinking. I want to know exactly what you need. Right. Toolkit. Traitor! Dirty traitor! He's out cold. Right. Go on, lads, quick. Go on. Get him into the car over there. Right, off we go. Well, now wake up! Come on, uh, we've got work to do. Come on. Is this all there is? Is it? That's it. Well, I shall need those. Now, I want you to hold it here and here. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Firm hold, but I'm going to pull. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. It's jammed. It's jammed. I can't shift it. Blade of the screwdriver inside that lip there. And just leave her forward as I pull, okay? In there. 
and just lever forward gently and smoothly. One, two, go. Ah, it's coming. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Hold the tension there while I take this screw out. Have you got it? I've got it. Right. And again. Steady hands. I don't know. What would you like to find out? Hold that very, very still and level. Okay. What is it? I can't remember. I can't remember. Red. Yes. Yes, it's red. We'll take your time. You've got 30 seconds. It's all right. How? He did it. Well, who was he? A diehard for the cause who wasn't quite ready to die yet. Well, I always say any organization is only as good as the man at the top. And you two, you're both damn good. <laughs> Very damn good. <laughs> <laughs>